In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install PHP Madmin. Okay, first uh, let's uh, open our party. We can SSH to our server. Make sure you have the key attached here. Yep, after login, we will follow the command uh, order in this document. First, we're gonna add easy to user into the group. Okay, down. X. Okay. We have to run the party again. Yep, after login, we type groups and there we can see EC2 user showing here the next we're gonna change the owner for the var 3w folder to the EC2 user in Apache group okay Yep, let's go to the var 3w ll ll it will show you the username and the group name okay next we're gonna change the permission Save our time just to copy and paste this command here. Okay. To add group write permission recursively, we have to change the file permission of the var. 3w folder okay how we're gonna test it we, we can run this command this command will generate a php info file it will list it, uh, all your server information if you don't know your server public IP address you can use party yep that's your server public IP address use forward slash php info dot php good you can see all the information regarding your server and the PHP version, MySQL, MySQL version here. Okay. Yep. Let's just delete delete this file because it's not safe to list all the information to public. Okay. Next, uh, let's start our MySQL service. Yes, this one, MySQL security installation. If you haven't set up a root password for your MySQL, you can run this command. It will ask you to set up a password uh, for the root user okay there are a couple of uh, settings 
you can choose uh, the one you want, like uh, remove anonymous users. This allowed root login remotely. Here we type yes. Okay, remove test database, yes. Reload privilege tables, yes. Done. Okay. This command will allow MySQL server startup automatically when you start up your server. Next, let's install PHP Madmin dependencies first. Copy and paste this one and the install them, then restart a uh, Apache server. Okay. We have to download the PHP admin file. Just use wgate. Yep. After you download the zip file you have to use tart and zip it done the name is a bit long with better rename it we use mv this command to rename MV the old name space then new name enter yeah you can see it's been renamed to PHP Madmin so we should be able to visit it, it through our browser we just uh, type our public IP address for the slash PHP admin. Good, you can see your login page. Type the user root and enter the password you just reset. Okay. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.